A journalist from the Fabrika Novin unexpectedly asked Ukrainian military expert Roman Svitan who will be the next president of Russia. The military expert's answer was even more unexpected than the question itself, since he assured that there will never be another president in Russia since the country will soon fall apart. Russians will no longer have a president. Believe me, they will not. Under Putin, Russia will fall apart. That is, Putin has already protected himself from any elections and re-elections until 2030. He is protected from external interference. That is, no one will kill him with a snuff box and so on. A military expert expressed his opinion about the fate of the Russian Federation. Then, Roman Svitan added to the above, Under Putin, Russia will fall apart, just as there was no president of the Soviet Union after Gorbachev, for the same reason, Russia will not have a president. This is the last president. The Russian Federation is the product of the Soviet Empire's collapse, just as the Soviet Union was the product of Imperial Russia's collapse. Looking at the long history of empires, it's not at all surprising that today's Russia has embarked on a project of re-imperialization, the attempt to create as much of its former empire as it can. Equally unsurprisingly, Russia's effort will fail. The vast majority of seemingly stable empires decay over time until all that is left is the imperial center. The Carnegie Center's Maxim Samorukov recently published an article in Foreign Affairs entitled Putin's Brittle Regime. Like the Soviet one that preceded it, his system is always on the brink of collapse. The argument is driven by a straightforward historical analogy. The Soviet system appeared strong and immutable and virtually no one predicted its collapse. But collapse, it did. Likewise, the Putin system appears strong and resilient and few people can imagine its collapse. But collapse, it will. Following Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine in February 2022 and the calamitous early missteps of the Russian army, many Western experts crowed over the possibility of Russia disintegrating. The U.S. announced a new military aid package to Ukraine. As part of the package, Ukraine will receive missiles, HIMARS ammunition, artillery shells, anti-tank weapons, M1117 armored vehicles, and other military equipment. This package will, for the first time, include, which can hit targets up to 110 kilometers away. This package includes the authorization of a Presidential Drawdown Authority package, which has an estimated value of $375 million US dollars, to provide Ukraine additional capabilities to meet its most urgent needs, including, air-to-ground weapons, ammunition for rocket systems and artillery, armored vehicles, and anti-tank weapons. The new package contains, in particular, air-to-ground munitions, ammunition for high-mobility artillery rocket systems, 155mm and 105mm artillery ammunition, tube-launched, optically tracked, wire-guided missiles, Javelin and at 4 anti-armor systems, M1117 armored security vehicles, mine-resistant ambush protected vehicles, light tactical vehicles, armored bridging systems, small arms, patrol boats, demolition equipment and ammunition, spare parts, ancillary equipment, services, training, and transport. The Pentagon highlighted that this marks the 66th package of military equipment the Biden administration has supplied to Ukraine from U.S. stockpiles since August 2021. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky stated that the United States has allocated $7.9 billion in new military aid to Ukraine and imposed new sanctions against Russia, I am grateful to U.S. President Joseph Biden, the U.S. Congress, and both parties, Republicans and Democrats, as well as the entire American people for today's announcement of significant defense related to Ukraine, amounting to a total of $7.9 billion, and for imposing sanctions against Russia, the President stated. 
The head of state also thanked the United States for finding a way to allocate the remaining previously designated funds to ensure that the president's authority to allocate aid would not expire before the end of the U.S. fiscal year. According to Zelensky, the new military assistance will include an additional Patriot air defense battery, other air defense systems and interceptors, drones, long-range missiles, air-to-ground munitions, and funds to strengthen Ukraine's defense industrial base. Additionally, the U.S. is expanding its pilot training program for F-16s and has imposed sanctions on Russia to limit its ability to finance the war against Ukraine. We have always valued the strong bipartisan support in the United States and among Americans for Ukraine's just cause of defeating Russian aggression, Zelensky added.